Hey there, my name is Epi, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm here to give you all 50 dumb facts for the recent Splatoon 3 Chill Season 2022 announcement trailer. That was a mouthful. Yep, not 100 like originally planned. I feel like it's wiser for me to be more rational with what I'm working with here. Regardless, as we are approaching the end of the drizzle season for Splatoon 3, it's time for us to get updates on what we'll be getting next season. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Right off the bat, Splatoon 3 is taking the seasonal update route, which was probably obvious from the beginning. We're greeted by a brand new stage that we've never seen before, not even in the previous Splatoon 3 Direct. The official name given to the new map is called Brinewater Springs. It's nice to see these jellyfish enjoying their lives in smooth 2 frames per second. There's a jellyfish relaxing out in a hot spring, which are also called onsens in Japan. The trailer gets real and removes the cinematic bars at the 15 second mark. We see a statue of the Kraken here in this shot, totally not leading up to it in a future update. There's another Kraken statue right there. They should've just called this Kraken Springs. Bamboozlers have been sacrificed during the making of this map, clearly evident by the walls. The music playing in the background is called Paint Scraper, which sadly isn't new. We got a bunch of new weapons here. Splashshot Nova, which is the official name of the weapon. Dapple Dooley's I Think Nouveau and Pencil. This weapon isn't actually just a pencil, it's a compass. We got more new weapons here, Luna Blaster that's definitely not Kenza, 10 Attack Spire Shot, Zinc Mini Splatling, I think, and a brand new roller. On the official Nintendo blog post, we'll be getting 10 returning weapons from previous Splatoon games with different sets. Forge is getting some attention via gear, one being the helmet and recolored Ocho. Oh. Oh, how do you pronounce that? And recolored Acho Octophones. A bunch of old gear makes a comeback. Gold High Horses, Skull Bandana, Jelly Vader Cap, Ink Wash Shirt, and more. This wasn't shown in the trailer itself, but Marooner's Bay from Splat 2 is returning from this game's Salmon Run mode. 10 Attack Spire Shots confirmed to have a Splat Bomb. Special is still unknown. The new Spire Shot Nova is being shown off, and when you slow down the footage, it seems like the weapon fires in Bursa 2, which may work similarly to Nozzle Nose weapons. Or it's just a sculpture type. The new Big Swig Roller is being shown off here, and it looks like it can cover the entirety of a slope on Moray Towers. Next is the Snipe Rider 5H. It works differently compared to other chargers. This weapon allows you to hold five different charges and requires two taps to splat someone. We can see the weapon having a bullet chamber, which is a neat little feature. An image has been going around showing how this map might be a really small one, but we'll have to try it before we can rightfully judge it. Well, that's one way to transition from one map to another. Blounder Heights is finally back, after giving us a small tease from that Splat 3 Direct. Splatoon 1 fans were definitely screaming their lungs out when this happened. X Battles are officially a thing as well. They will be available to those that reach S plus 0, confirmed by the official blog on the Nintendo site. Okay, there's a lot of stuff happening here, so buckle your gamer seatbelts. The full kit of the mini Splatling is Toxic Mist and Big Bubbler. The Splatshot Nova has Killer Rail 5.1 as its special. We can see that the new Luna Blaster has Fizzy Bomb, as if it's a Kenza-themed Luna Blaster. Dapple Dooley's has Torpedo as its sub, although the special is also unknown. The Forge Splatshot Pro is making a return, with Suction Bomb as its sub and Booyah Bomb as its special. The Snipe Rider Charger weapon has Tacticooler as its special. Splatoon 1 colors, by the way, on an OG stage. Not a coincidence. Right as the logo shows up, a point sensor has been thrown. It was either the Nova or the Charger. And that's where the trailer ends. Nah, just kidding, you silly goose. I know this is an opinion, but the logo looks really cool with different color swaps. It's, it's a fact. For a few frames, there's an image that's originally from a sunken scroll. What's even better is that this sunken scroll is number 17 from Splatoon 2. It's all coming together. Big Run is finally happening after months of waiting. Wahoo World is confirmed to be the first Big Run stage, although that was completely obvious from the direct, and possibly the only one for now. We can see the whole stage just flooded, and obviously won't be playable in multiplayer rotations. Everyone's going to compare the official alert to all the fan-made EAS ones, because Let's be honest, it's not gonna be as cool. The skybox has been updated, which looks so sick. Someone didn't finish the story mode of Splatoon 3. The trailer seems to be showing off the Luna Blaster, Splatter Shot, Splat Roller, and Mini Splatling. Not sure if this is gonna be the rotation or if the weapons will cycle. We'll have to wait and see. We can see the basket right next to spawn locations, as well as the center of the map. And so, Big Run is imminent, according to the trailer. Season 2, aka Chill Season of Splatoon 3, is releasing December 1st, 2022. Of course, with the new season release comes a brand new catalog for us to grind through. More emotes, stickers, titles, gear, and more. 
And that's all the facts! Like I said earlier, this is much shorter and smaller compared to the others, and I most definitely missed a bunch of stuff, but I'll leave that up for others to discover. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what you're most excited about from the update. With all that done, I'll see you all again later. Bye!